In this video, I'll explore how to encrypt and decrypt text using the symmetric encryption method called the Vernum cipher, also known as the one-time pad or perfect encryption. This technique is famous for being theoretically unbreakable when used correctly. I'm going to show you how this encryption method works with a simple example. Step one is to create an encryption key. The Vernum cipher is a type of encryption that uses a key to alter the original text, known as plain text, into an encoded form called ciphertext. If we follow the rules of this cipher, then the key must be as long as the plain text, completely random and used only once. So I'm going to bend the rules a little bit by using a key that's not random. In this example, we're using dog as our plain text and cat as our key. Step two is to convert each letter into its ASCII number and then into binary. First, we convert each character of our plain text and key into their ASCII number equivalents. By now, you should be familiar with the ASCII character set. But just in case, ASCII is a character set that assigns a unique number to each character on your keyboard. For instance, the ASCII value for D is 68, which is then translated to binary. Step three is to apply an exa mask to each letter and its key. Now that we have our binary numbers, we can perform a bitwise XOR operation between the binary values of our plain text and key. XOR, or exclusive OR, is a logical operation that outputs true only when the inputs differ. Let's do this step by step. Our plain text character of D was translated to 01000100, and its key character of C was translated to 01000011. When we apply an XOR mask, this results in 00000111. Step four is to transmit the encoded string. The binary result from our XOR operation represents the ASCII code for a new character which forms part of our ciphertext. Because the result 00000111 translates back into an ASCII character that can't be seen on screen, in this case, a control character, we generally just show the cipher output in binary when performing this algorithm. Now that we've created the ciphertext, step five is decrypting the message. To decrypt our message, we simply repeat the XOR operation, but this time using our ciphertext and the same key. This will retrieve the original ASCII number of our plain text. Let's walk through the decryption. Our ciphertext binary of 00000111 is used with the key character C, which was translated to 01000011. When we apply an XOR mask, this results in 01000100. If we convert this to a number, we return to the ASCII number of 68, which is the number assigned to the original letter D. And that's how you encrypt and decrypt using the Vernum cipher. It's important to remember that we've bent some of the security rules of this cipher to make the process easier to understand. But in a true Vernum cipher, the security of the encryption lies in the key being random, used only once and kept secret.